Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm really fun to watch. I think. And if you are already subscribed, thank you for coming back. So I'm not gonna waste much time, and I'm just gonna get to the topic. Like foundation. This is gonna be foundation 101. Moral of this video is going to be: ace your face. Yes, what's the point if you have like an amazing eyebrow, amazing eye makeup, if your face is looking really bad and crusty? Like, no, that's not okay. So I'm not going to lie. For your makeup to look good, you need to have good skin. I know y'all are like, what? Honestly, if you see someone whose makeup looks like a nice smooth canvas, then they probably have nice smooth skin. Also, there is no such thing as flawless makeup. Like, there will be flaws because your skin has flaws. So, you're putting stuff on your flaws. It's just makeup. It's not witchcraft. It's not gonna change everything. And that's okay. We need to normalize texture and bumps and pores and fine lines on our skin. We are human. We will have it. No problem. We can try and make it look as less as possible. We cannot make our skin look like a baby's butt, okay? So there's no such thing as flawless skin, you know, like everybody, yeah, everybody I know has flaws in their skin. And if you had flawless skin, you wouldn't even need to put on foundation, right? So yeah, I just want to say that whatever techniques you use, whatever products you use, if your skin is not good, then some of that texture is going to show through. And that is normal. Everybody has problems. I'm not trying to tell like, hmm, flawless skin is important. So before starting off with the whole routine, I just want to tell you that invest in a good skincare regime. Like that is very important. So that was just a little rant. Now we're going to get started with the routine. So I just wanted to do a quick before and after so you guys get an idea of what my skin actually looks like. So in the routine that I follow, I put powder before my foundation. I know this went viral, I think, a couple of months ago on TikTok, but that's not the same order in which I do it. This has been around, I mean, the original technique has been, been around for a while now. I think I've been doing it for three years now, but uh, this is not something I do every day. I do this only when I want my makeup to last me all day, when I know that I'll be photographed a lot, or maybe if I'm, I'll be out in the sun a lot. So if your main uh, complaint with foundation is that it creases or that it settles into your fine lines and your pores are a lot more visible, then I think this technique is for you. You will love it. And uh, yeah, if you have oily skin, this is going to really help in like making your makeup sweat proof. That makes sense. The order in which I'm going to be applying my products, it's going to be moisturizer, primer, loose powder, setting spray and then foundation. So yeah, I think I should just get started and stop talking. So I like to put a lot of moisturizer on my face whenever I do this technique because it doesn't like, you know, make your face extremely oily or anything. I suggest that you give like at least like 10 to 20 seconds in between each layer so that, you know, everything can like settle into your skin and then move on to the next step. So I have a lot of texture on my skin, like I have a lot of bumps on both sides of my nose and on my nose. So that's my main concern. Also, I have pores, you know, relatively large pores. So that's why I use the Porefessional Primer from Benefit. You can use whatever primer that works for your skin. Concentrate the primer on your problem areas. Like for example, I crease a lot around my eyes and around my mouth and I sweat a lot in my T-zone. So that's where I'm going to concentrate most of my product. And this is just essentially going to create a smooth base for our foundation to uh, be applied on. After that, take some loose powder. I'm using one that has a little bit of color in it. You can also use like, you know, the white one, the translucent one. You don't want to cake this powder on at this point. You're not trying to bake or anything. Just trying to like set the primer and mattify the face. Lightly dusting it all over my face. So immediately after you do that, you'll feel like your fine lines have, you know, blurred out a little bit and your pores have like minimized in size. And now you want to spray on your setting spray. So whenever I do this technique, I prefer a matte setting spray because that's our goal to, you know, make it stay matte as long as possible. 
now you want to wait until the setting spray dries down a little bit so that's going to take like a minute or two that's a waiting game Once the setting spray has dried down, we can start with our foundation. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Palace Infallible Foundation. You have to be a little extra careful while applying foundation uh, with this technique because you don't want to move around all that powder we've put initially. And I would highly suggest using a beauty blender or any kind of a makeup sponge that you have because I feel like if you use a brush, it can like move around everything. So yeah. So as usual, I will put some on the back of my hand and then just dot it all over my face. Please be as gentle as possible when you do this. You don't want to like be very rough or like drag it around your face because that's just going to like make everything slide off your face. And start off with as little as possible. Like start off with lesser than what you think you might need. And because I've used uh, the loose powder that has some color in it, I have that extra coverage. So, you know, you'll end up using a lot lesser. If you're not going to be doing a lot of eye makeup, then you can just put this on your eyelids as well. I don't know if you can see on camera but then whenever I do this uh, technique my skin looks so much better like I still have texture like obviously but it's just so much nicer and smoother. Now I'm just gonna take my concealer and just put some under my eyes I'm not going really crazy over here. I like to use my fingers for my concealer when I do this. So the last thing I do is just set my under eyes. I only set my under eyes whenever I do this. I don't have to set the rest of my face. So I'll just take a little bit of a powder on a small brush and just dust it under my eyes. And that's it. I still have this eye to do so I'll just do that and like just put on some blush and come right back. So I just finished up my makeup and this is it you guys. I don't have to powder it down. If I'm going out somewhere out and I'm going to be under the sun a lot, then I'll carry a little compact with me just to make sure that if I, you know, sweat through or something, I can just pat it down. But usually I don't have to because this is just gonna lock everything in. I also have a specific way in which I do my under eyes. I know under eye creasing is one of the most common problems people face so I'm gonna do that in my next video. I'm just gonna concentrate on my under eyes. Maybe a lot of you already do your makeup this way but if you haven't please please do try it out. Even if you don't go out anyway just try it out maybe on this part of your face where most people have a lot of bumps or something. Just try this order and see the difference for yourself. Thank you for watching you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and come back for more. Bye guys!